Hey guys, Massive Pete's checking in here. So this morning, Universal Audio released or announced the Solo, uh, their new audio interface. And um, I wanted to look at the specs and talk to you or kind of like get your brains pulled into this. Alrighty, so let's have a look here. So that's how it looks like. And to me, this just looks like a repainted uh, arrow and I really do like the arrow. So if it is just an arrow, it means it's still a good product and just a little almost trickery going on, trying to pass off the same thing. Uh, actually, the older interfaces are always in silver, so I'm surprised that they changed it to this older silver color. The new stuff is space gray. All right, and so we get to see this cool marketing video with um, you know the solo musician, solo the name again. Um, doing an entire track that really sounds nice. I like. I really li like that free California 60s vibe. Recording in Luna, which is included, but it's also was also included in the Arrow. So anyways, the Arrow has been removed from the website. And no mention that like, hey, we're changing the product name to Arrow uh, to Solo from Arrow. It make it sound like this, this all new uh, revelation, this all new product. Wherever you go, well, there's nothing knew about that and the only difference that I could find in the specs is that they mention an improved or that he is sitting on a cliff recording uh, I wouldn't do I would not bring my laptop there I would not sit in the in, I don't know that's just me uh, somewhere in the Santa Monica mountains here not far from where Universal Audio is but a great track so I don't understand that um, the arrow was exactly the same thing. I had the arrow. I liked it a lot. Um, now, if the uh, headphone amp has been improved, that is a good thing. I like to work with headphones. I got the Sennheiser HD 300, the Biodynamic 770 Pro, and the Biodynamic 990 Pro. They're all uh, 300 ohms and 250 ohms, so they need a beefy headphone amp to power that. Um, and Arrow's headphone amp was not as strong as the my Swin Mark II and not as strong also as the Apollo X4. On that note, I felt that um, the X6, so the rack mount interface, had even more headroom than the X4. Uh, I had it only briefly, but that's what I can uh, remember. So best in class headphone amplifier for loud, detailed, low noise monitoring. No details, no specs are given. Uh, you know, how much output at how many ohms and so forth. Um, this is just very superficial. Uh, it seems a few more plugins are now included, but I guess that would be probably across the board of all interfaces. And the same old, 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 I can't say it enough, analog classics bundle that I already had with my uh, twin Mark I uh, years ago. And it's just like to get you into the ecosystem, but they should really give people, you know, brand new plugins that have the new, uh, um, you know, retina display, sharp, uh, looking uh, plugins, not these old washed out graphic user interfaces. Um, I mean, you want to get show people your best, right? You don't want to, you know, it's not, it's like Apple saying like, hey, welcome to the Apple ecosystem. Here's an iPhone 5. You know, you'd be like, okay, great. I'm with Apple now, but you're, or I don't know, like Safari, <laughs> the early version or like GarageBand from four years ago, something like that. I'm not sure if the analogy works. So at any rate, um, if you can find so all the other specs, you know, like desktop 2.4, Thunderbolt 3 powered audio interface, 24-bit, uh, 192 kilohertz, um, all of that is unchanged. Unison technology, uh, latency, and ra latency free or real-time UAD pro processing, all of that is there. And also, 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 UAD, Thunderbolt 3 cables sold separately. This is how you even need to power this unit. You can't even turn it on without that cable. That is not included. And people say, oh yes, but it's $50 for this cable, so they cannot include it. Well, it's $50 for you. You know, it's not $50 for them if you buy a uh, wholesale or you have them manufactured and so forth. I understand, but you know, it's just a, it's just a little bit of a downer for some people who received it on the Friday afternoon and then have to wait till Monday at best to get rocking. But um, I am, I'm, I'm, I know I'm not gonna get anywhere with that, with that request. So um, guys, so my question here is, what do you see that's different from the arrow? Is this just like, Universal Audio pulling a fast one on us. 
not even mentioning hey we changed things a tiny bit and now we're recalling the arrow solo and repainting it they're just not even acknowledging anything oh and also there's a pc version for usb so that might be an interesting thing that's coming as well please let me know what you think all right i think i talked enough massive peace out